Next, I want to quickly talk about this, um, which I think is rather interesting, and I want to make sure that I kind of highlight it. So this is courtesy of Over Under, and it's regarding the Jordan 4, Jordan 4 SBs. Weird, right? Nike SB and Jordan 4s. Think about that. So for whatever reason, Nike Skateboarding has decided to try to update or absorb the Jordan 4s as a skateboarding shoe. Now, this isn't shocking because if you're, you know, if you're part, if you, if you know what's what, you would know from, you know, from, from, from back in the day when they originally released, loads of skateboarders would wear basketball shoes as basically quasi skateboarding shoes. You, you see old pictures in the 80s of people wearing Jordan 1s or people wearing Terminators or people wearing Dunks and stuff back in the day when there wasn't specific skateboard shoes skateboarding shoes being made and obviously over time brands popped up dcs whatever it may be alpha numerics that was starting to make you know um es um, specific skateboarding shoes but obviously some of the big you know sportswear brands like adidas and nike decided to also get involved and update their models to fit skateboarding needs a good example being a dunk they took the dunk and i think especially with the dunk um with the skateboarding edition when they first launched them they added the addition of a really puffy tongue which obviously kind of lent itself to what people were doing in skateboarding in terms of the puffy tongues that you had in dcs and whatnot and then in, in some cases when they updated the dunks further on along the line they decided to really then try to look at the materials so a lot of the early dunk sbs were usually made with suede's or new bucks around the top around the sorry around the around a toe box so that if you were ollieing or whatnot or your feet were rubbing uh, along the grip tape or your skateboard when you're doing tricks like heel flips ollies kick flips or whatever it may be it'll be a bit more durable sometimes they would uh they would uh, put some double stitching along the toe box to make sure that they were a little bit more sturdy they might reinforce the lining on some of them and then later on down the line what they did i forgot the name of it but nike developed a specific insole that was only made for skateboarding shoes so if you bought a nike sb shoe they'd make this specific insole that i think it was like yellow at the bottom that was really bouncy and really soft so that it would kind of help you if you were kind of landing really hard on the floor after skateboarding so they do these little things to kind of update the models and of course they'd make their own model also but there's also been a history of skateboarders wearing basketball shoes and skateboarding in them also there's been a history of skateboarders wearing flipping timberlands and skateboarding in them right watch old zoo york videos and you'll see guys in tims and stuff skateboarding and doing some amazing shit and Jordans have always been a part of it and I always thought shoes like the Jordan 4 which has always been one of my favourites because it kind of looks like a cross trainer and that's kind of been my favourite era and again the Jordan 4 was designed by Tinker Hatfield who also designed the Nike Air Trainer 1 which are usually my kind of favourite era of like Nikes that kind of like late, uh, late, early, late, late 80s early 90s kind of period where stuff was kind of a bit more cross trainer looking wise loads of panels kind of mid cut um it had the really nice sort of like triangular boxy type of shape on the shoe i just like that whole aesthetic behind it usually the outsole grip was really grippy and whatnot um the colors are really simple and cool but just amazing and i always thought jordan falls would be a great addition um for sb and you know all intents and purposes to put it out there as a full disclosure jordan fours are my favorite jordans um always have been not even ones i've always been a fan of jordan fours over jordan ones any day of the week especially i, I still think it's probably tinker hatfield's probably best design overall but i always thought they'd lend itself really well to skateboarding but they always fall a bit too clunky anyone that's worn jordan fours you know they're quite big and boxy shoes so when i heard that sbs were trying to make them into a skateboarding shoe i was like how are they going to do that because they're really heavy and they're really clunky feeling looking wise they don't really feel like the thing that you would want to wear to like even go on the run so let alone skateboard with so i'm interested to see what happened but now we've got a official colorway of the first shoe to drop under sb jordan 4 which is this sail and pine color which is really nice because if i'm not mistaken i've never seen this color in a jordan 4 before maybe there's an og version of this that came out when the jordan 4 originally released but i've never seen this combination of this kind of white with the sail with the kind of gray suede on the on the toe box um and this kind of gum outsole i've never seen it before the closest i've seen is maybe um is maybe the pure monies is maybe the military blues that was a similar sort of colorway scheme but i've never seen this kind of green adapting it's really nice and really nice kind of approach because the gut the good thing i like about its colorway is that it gives a good indication where they're going to go going forward if they're dropping such a classically looking colorway it means going forward we're going to see some really simple stuff done that's going to be very sp specific so for sure we're going to see an all black jordan 4 with a gum sole 
with a white midsole. It's going to look incredible. We're definitely going to see something with just like, you know, white as the base and loads of different accent colors. So maybe we'll see this same color, um, the same colorway scheme done in red, done in blue, done in yellow, which I think is going to make the Jordan, that, that model, it works better with that. That kind of, you know, limited kind of three to four color palette choices. But so far, this looks really cool. So the initial picture we have here, we have the massive Nike swoosh at the back with the SB at the back. For the longest time, Jordan's, um, I don't know why, Jordan brand were being really tight and every retro they released, they would never release it with a Nike on the back. It would always be the Jumpman. So you could always discern between an OG or a more valuable pair of Jordans, you know, between whether or not they had the correct shape, different materials, or if they had a Jumpman logo or the Nike logo. And obviously the Nike logo looks just more sick, in it? Because you've got Jordan at the front, you've got Nike at the back. It just looks absolutely incredible and obviously represents a really good era and time. So you've got that going on there. And then also, as you look close onto the side picture of the Jordan, you've got this nice mesh, nice color balance on there. You've got the plush on the inside with the white. And then the best thing about them, which you've never, I've never seen so far in a Jordan, to my experience. The only thing I could think of maybe the undefeated ones, but I've never seen a Jordan 4 that's got a combination of leather and suede in this kind of usually I think or even the all suede ones like m &M ones are all suede but this combination of having a bit of leather here at the top and this suede bit at the b bottom is really nice towards the mud guard or to the toe guard it looks really cool and I'm assuming this addition has been added to kind of make them more skateboarding friendly but I would also like to know what it is. So when they do re originally release or when they do come out officially, I hope Nike SB are going to put out some information or some pamphlet, some video, something. So to give us an idea on what they've done to actually update this for skateboarding. Because I'd, I'd hope they'd have because there was pictures being released of like, um, what's his name? Paul Rodriguez and some of us forgot the other guy's name who were, skate, who were doing wear tests with a pair of Jordan 4s. And, and they were obviously kind of, you know, skating in them and kind of reporting back to the designers and letting them know what tweaks could be made to improve them but on the face of them to the naked eye they just look like regular Jordan 4s but I'm sure they have improved them but I'd like to know what the improvements are have they kind of switched out some of the you know the lining have they reduced the weight um, I don't know have they made them more have they added more flipping ventilation in them what what have they done actually to make them more skateboarding proof I hope it's just not this suede mud guard and a gum sole that's more sticky hopefully it's more to kind of make them more because that would make it that would make these more desirable to purchase but I'm still going to get them regardless because the colorway is fucking fire but these look really 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 nice they come out amazing and I can't wait to see more colorways coming at them soon they look even better here and towards the front here you've got again this nice uh, grey uh, mud guard here or kind of you know mud guard toe guard whatever here toward the front a nice white here with the mesh nice laces you've got the jump man flat logo there on the tongue also they look absolutely banging to me i love them they look really 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 good and i cannot wait for them to come out i think what they say the date here about them coming out here what they say i don't think they got a date on them so far i don't think we've got a date i don't think so let me double check here this other video from over under you got got a clip of them here sat next to a skateboard but these look great they're gonna look amazing with a pair of shorts on or some pants and whatnot. These look really, really good. I can't wait to see them um, on person when they do eventually do come out. No idea on the date or when they are going to come out. Is a little short video showing them in hand. They look absolutely fire though. That colorway is so, so good. The gum saw as well is a nice little touch on them also. But yeah, these are going to do absolute numbers when they come out, I think. But I'm all over these. Definitely give these. Get Definitely get me a pair of these in a size 11, please. Please, for the love of God. No idea on the date so far. Yeah, everyone's saying I need these ASAP no other information on the date so far but i do like them like i said i would i really do hope they do go out of their way to explain like hey here's what we've done to update them to make them more sbfied and they're not just uh they don't just take a jordan 4 and just slap the sb on it like actually tell us what happened and you know create a story sell us sell us a dream please nike sell us a dream but yeah i love these they're absolutely incredible i'm a big fan of them cannot wait to purchase when they do eventually drop cannot wait to purchase